thousands of demonstrators opposed to the Vietnam War assembled in the nation's capital for a mass protest. For the most part orderly, minor scuffles did occur between the demonstrators and hecklers. A three-hour parade takes the demonstrators across the Potomac on their way to the Pentagon. The crowd estimated at about 50,000 persons was a loose confederation of some 150 groups and included adults, students, even children. It is at the Pentagon where the first test of strength comes. Military police contain the crowd, but clashes soon break out. Federal marshals arrest several who attempt to break through the protective line. Reinforcing the marshals, a second wave of MPs with fixed bayonets in scabbards move into position. Some 400 demonstrators are arrested, two soldiers are injured, and tear gas is used. Six break into a Pentagon side door, but are quickly apprehended in the day-long disturbance. The next day, campfires are lighted to hold off the autumn chill. The same weekend saw nationwide demonstrations supporting American GIs in Vietnam. The Pentagon protest was less violent in its second day of sitting in. The two-day protest ends with over 600 arrested and the widespread opinion that the demonstration made everyone a loser. A new turbojet transport plane on display in Bremen. It will carry 65 passengers and was manufactured jointly by Germany, Holland and England. 